durian flowers are strongly fragrant, 50 to 70 millimeters long, and grow in stalked clusters of 1 to 45 individual flowers per cluster. These flower clusters hang from the main and smaller branches, or directly from the trunk of the tree. It takes about one month for a durian flower to develop from first appearance as a tiny bud to an open blossom. As it matures, the outer fleshy part of the flower splits to reveal five united sepals, and five petals. Durian flowers are hermaphrodites, each having a stamen and pistil in the same flower. Durian flowers show a high degree of self-incompatibility, and have to be cross-pollinated with other trees to set fruit. Bats, and moths are believed to be the main pollinators. Collection of fruits. In Malaysia, it is a traditional practice to allow the durian fruits to ripen on the tree, and drop naturally where they are collected or, harvested, daily over the fruiting season. At the start and end of the season, fruits are collected only once a day, usually in the morning, because of the low number of fruits. During the peak of the fruiting season, the twice a day scheduled morning and evening of collection may be necessary. The durian fruit may drop either during the day or throughout the night. Tree harvesting of fruits. Harvesting the fruit off the tree is a common practice in Thailand. Fruits are harvested at a mature stage, and are then artificially ripened for the markets. The number of days of maturity after anthesis is commonly used as a guide for harvesting durian fruit. Other maturity indices, usually based on fruit's external appearance may be applied to confirm the maturity stage. The bulging abscission zone and the abscission layer on the fruit stem and the appearance of striking carpal sutures on the fruit are very important indicators for mature fruits. The carpal sutures on mature fruits can be seen very clearly from underneath the tree. To harvest durian, the stem should be cut 3 to 4 cm or more above the abscission layer. The stem is usually cut with a sharp knife or a pair of secateurs. For tall branches, a long pole fitted with a cutting device is used. Fruits can also be harvested by climbing the trees. During harvesting, the fruit should be prevented from falling to the ground as the fruit is very sensitive to mechanical injury, and fruit spines can be easily damaged due to the impact of the fall. The harvested fruit can be dropped into a bucket attached to a rope tied to its handle. The bucket with the fruit is then lowered to the ground by releasing the rope slowly. To avoid contact with dirt or infection by pathogens, harvested fruits should not be placed on the ground. They should be placed in field containers immediately after harvesting. The fruits would take about 5 to 7 days to ripen. Global trade in durian fruit is dominated by two countries at the moment, Thailand dominates exports and China dominates imports. According to TradeMap, the two largest exporters of durian fruit in 2016 were Thailand and Malaysia with 403 million kilograms and 18 million kilograms respectively. 
Together these two countries accounted for 99% of global exports. Although Thailand and Malaysia are the largest exporters of durian, the composition of their markets is quite different. Thailand's production is predominantly exported, while production in Malaysia is consumed domestically. Global trade in durian can be quantified in two ways. Firstly via trade in raw fruit form, and secondly through trade in durian-based end products. The retail value of durian fruit trade, domestically and internationally, in raw fruit form, fresh, frozen, paste and pulp was estimated to have a retail value of over 15 billion United States dollars in 2016. Global demand by 2030 is conservatively expected to grow to more than 25 billion United States dollars, driven primarily by Chinese demand. In terms of durian end products, the global trade value is difficult to ascertain due to the limited availability of data. Durian end products include the market segments of desserts, snacks and beverages. Its share of these markets is unknown but combined in Asia, are worth over 275 billion United States dollars annually and growing. Durian end products have been growing in prominence over the past couple of years with large F&B brands such as Pizza Hut, KFC, Nestle and Starbucks, introducing products to capture customer demand. China is the world's largest importer of durian with approximately 292 million kilograms imported in 2016. Its imports have risen significantly over the past decade, up 13.12 per annum, between 2006 and 2016. China accounts for 60 to 80 percent of global imports, depending on the source of data. UN Comtrade data indicates the figure is 82 percent while trade map suggests it's 66 percent. This is due to trade map including Vietnamese imports based on mirror data which raised total global imports, and reduced China's share. Headquarter Chanthaburi Global Foods Raw material selection, select only unblemished produce with perfect ripeness. Washing raw material, clean and sanitize fruit surface before entering production line. Staff preparing before entering processing area, every step follows personal hygiene practices based on GMPs. Air shower at the entry of processing area. To remove dust, fibrous, and other contaminants from personnel. Peeling and cutting fruits. Prepare and sort out damaged fruit before sending to next process. Bricks measurement. Check pH and bricks in every lot to ensure the consistency of product taste. Spiral freezing allows frozen fruits to maintain original freshness, flavor, and texture. Pre-freeze, drying temperature measurement, care in every detail for the best quality of finished product. Vacuum freeze, drying, removes moisture at low temperature without damaging the original flavor, shape, and nutrients. Cold storage at minus 35 degrees Celsius to keep fruits fresh for customer demand throughout the year. Good sanitation and hygiene practices. Ensure cleanliness of personnel and facilities to prevent any contamination during production. Quality control. Employ food safety and quality testing to ensure the products meet international standards. Multiple industrial scale freeze dryers, capable to produce up to 400 mt of dried product per year. Metal detector, prioritize consumer safety by ensuring no any metallic foreign body in the products. Packing process, select only the best to deliver to customers. Global trade in durian can be quantified in two ways. Firstly via trade in raw fruit form, and secondly through trade in durian-based end products. 
The retail value of durian fruit trade, domestically and internationally, in raw fruit form, fresh, frozen, paste and pulp, was estimated to have a retail value of over 15 billion United States dollars in 2016. Global demand by 2030 is conservatively expected to grow to more than 25 billion United States dollars, driven primarily by Chinese demand. In terms of durian end products, the global trade value is difficult to ascertain due to the limited availability of data. Durian is still considered a relatively niche product with growth still in its infancy. Durian end products include the market segments of desserts, snacks and beverages. Its share of these markets is unknown but combined in Asia, are worth over 275 billion United States dollars annually and growing. Durian end products have been growing in prominence over the past couple of years with large F&B brands such as Pizza Hut, KFC, Nestle and Starbucks, introducing products to capture customer demand. This price list is provided as a guide for some of the most popular durian varieties. Pricing has been collated from a variety of local based stores, and converted to US dollar per kilogram. Kindly note that these prices are for reference purposes only with durian market prices often changing due to seasonality, and other demand and supply factors. Additionally, market prices are also a function of store location and perceived quality. Musang King Durian which is also known as, Mao Shan Wong, or D197 is the most sought after, and expensive durian variety, due to its appealing flavor and texture. Prices for Musang King Durian in the key markets of Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong and China. To be exported to any country or region, durian must follow certain hygiene standards, have a long shelf life, and be packaged well to protect them during international shipping. Durian pulps and entire durians with shells can be frozen quickly and vacuum sealed. Vacuum packaging, vacuum skin packaging, VSP, and modified atmosphere packaging, MAP, changed atmosphere packaging are the most common durian packaging types. Packaging machines for these packing types have varying production capacities, allowing durian processing factories to choose the best equipment for their needs. Before exportation, the entire frozen durian must be vacuum packed. As a result, vacuum packing machines are very common in the packaging process. Since the weight and scale of whole durians vary greatly, size sorting is needed before packing. Since a whole durian is a comparatively large commodity, to be vacuum sealed, chamber vacuum sealers, specifically equipped for a deep cavity of about 20 cm, are widely used.